All right. Good morning, everybody. Today, fucking nose is bothering me this morning. I should have put some Vaseline, but oh well. I'm in a rush to get out the door, so. It's 10 o'clock and I am just now leaving. So check this out. I guess starting off with yesterday. Yesterday wasn't bad. It was a normal day. Normal Wednesday. Okay. You know, half the week down, right? So kind of quick and easy for that day. So, you know. So other than that, um, I was supposed to have my dentist this point dentist appointment this morning. But I missed it. So I told my work I was going to be late. And so I'm actually making my word on that. I told them it might be after 11, but I'm just going in now. It's 10 o'clock. So. so turn the AC on. It's fucking hot in here. Anyway, so I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, I, um, that, that fragrance stuff is, smells weird. It smells like a car wash. Like a car wash and a, I don't know, it's probably the worst one in my opinion, but it smells like a car wash after you smell it for a bit. So, yeah, I'm late today. You know, I told them I would be, so I'm just going in late. And then, I don't know, I'll probably stay like 20 minutes or so. Um, 10, 20 minutes. I really can't be doing this, you know. So now now it's going to be the same thing for next next Thursday and the Thursday after, you know. I've got a couple other dentist appointments as well. I don't want to get in trouble for that, you know, but... I do, you know, I, I miss this one, so, yeah, I'm not really too pleased that I, I probably should just win anyway, I don't know, should have been like all day rescheduled back the next Thursday, but. I guess in a sense I just had an opportunity not to go in at nine, so I guess I just kinda so but anyways, should have made something to eat this morning. Could have grabbed a couple of uh, bagels, but oh well. But yeah, next week is a filling. I guess today was supposed to be just a cleaning. Next week was supposed to be a filling. Anyways, um, yeah, you know, just, um, not really much else to it, to whatever today is, you know, just another day, so, well, um, I beat Modern Warfare 3, so, I have officially beaten all three of the Modern Warfare games. The original Modern Warfare games from the Xbox 360. I'm still trying to beat one level on all of those games. I did beat the games, but on the original Modern Warfare, there is a prologue, or a prologue, an epilogue, sorry, an ep epilogue mission called the Mile High Club, which takes place on an airplane, you know, and you have, on veteran difficulty, you have to beat it in literally a minute, a fucking minute, and man, that, I need, I need to free up a day for that shit, you know, because that shit drives me nuts, that's the one mission that I'm really stuck on, you know, and I get so close, but when I get to the very end, I have like 12 seconds left, 10 seconds left, so, and then I have to like fight through the rest of the people. And if I don't make it on time, I fail the mission. So it's just like, you know, low key, I want to use a cheat, but you know, I, I really, uh, I don't want to cheat. 
you know, because you can actually put cheats in the game, which I didn't know that. So, what was that place is right here? Oh, it's a collision center. I'm like, why are there people standing outside of it? I, it looked like a bar, but I guess it's a collision center. So, um, yeah, I'm still stuck on that, but oh well. And then, uh, yesterday, the Joker 2, the new Joker trailer released, um, Folia Doe, or however you pronounce it, Folia Doe, Joker Folia Doe, uh, so, I watched the trailer, and it looks okay, but... I just don't like some of the things they do. Like, like, like in this new movie, I don't even know where they're going with this one. You know, is is the end of the first movie like, uh, like, like he was caught and captured after the riots? Was he just imagining the whole movie? Was he in the hospital the whole time? Like, I don't know. You got to see the first 2019 movie to really get the idea of what the hell I'm talking about. And then you have this new movie where he's all, he's basically locked up. And, um, he's locked up. And, um, trying to think. You know, Harley Quinn is just kind of like stalking him in a sense. You know, she, she she doesn't even meet him as a doctor or anything like that in the trailer so far. She just kind of like idolizes him, like always. You know, she idolizes him and falls in love with him. You know, typical Harley Quinn. I personally cannot stand the character Harley Quinn. I personally really do not like the idea of Harley Quinn as a character, you know, there's a word for people who still love their abusers. You know, I, I just don't fuck with that. I don't really fuck with any of that stuff. I think that's fucking sickness and just terrible. But that's the idea. It's it's sickness, you know. It's, it's her sickness. That's the whole idea of the character arc. So, and I personally don't care for it. So, um... Yeah, yes, uh, it's Lady Gaga as the new Harley Quinn. She doesn't have that New York accent, uh, uh, like a really good one that I know of. Um, I do know that, uh, you know, yeah, she's just there, you know. I can't tell what the hell's going on. She's, you know, it's just like, why? You know, why? That's not your thing. Like, stop it. Stop it. You know what I mean? Like, stop it. And it was just like, I just found it really, I didn't find it really fun to see see her act out what the joke, what Joaquin Phoenix's Joker act out in the first movie, you know? And then when he dances, she does the same dance. You know, when he kicks his, kicks his leg up, she kicks her leg up walking down the stairs. It's like, I don't, I don't know, you know, I mean, like, and then it's a musical, you know, I'm, I'm like, uh, even more, but I don't know, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, it might be a good movie, I don't know, but, you know, if it's PG-13, even more so, you know, I heard the rumors that it was going to be a PG-13 movie, that's, that's going to be a real kick in the ass right there, like, it not in a good way either, you know, so... I don't know. I just have to wait and see what people think of the movie. If, if people say the movie was shit, you know, then... Or if it was actually really good, then I might consider watching it. But other than that, I'll just keep watching the trailers. Ouch. I play the, the waiting game. Ow. Ah. But anyway, um... I'll deal with that later. Um, there's that. 
And then... I'm not a, really a horror movie person anymore. And I really, really despise movies that take place in the 80s and the 70s and the 90s, right? You know, like like Harry Potter. I didn't even know that movie took place in the 90s. Like, like I guess it takes place in, like, 1991. Why? Why 1991? No, why not 2001, when the year was made? Like, come on. You know what I mean? But anyway, the, I'm not bashing on the movies for that. The movie I'm low-key kind of excited for is called Maxine. So, okay, Connor, I don't know what you texted me, but I can't look at that right now. Maxine kind of kind of takes a really wild twist, I ain't gonna lie. So, Maxine is a sequel to X and Pearl, and, uh, and it's a trilogy, so X and Pearl both came out in 2022. X is a story about a group of porn... And I've actually never seen X and Pearl. I ain't gonna lie. I've never really seen those movies before. I want I want to. X is free. But uh, Pearl is not... Oh, God. There's Ron. That is Ron. The f What's he doing? <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's that's Ron right there. I could I could tell that was his car. Anyway, X is about. Uh, it takes place in '79. It's the story of a group of porn stars who rent out a home from an old couple, and the old couple doesn't really know what they're doing until they find out what they're doing and they they kill them off they kill the porn stars off one by one it's a very violent movie yeah the part i thought was a little too much was the alligator part i i don't i fucking hate alligators bro that part i really did not enjoy but anyway um uh there's x and then there's Pearl. Pearl is another one that I really, really violent movie. Pearl is the, the prequel, you know, Pearl's the, uh, Pearl is the story of the old woman and the husband, you know, when they were younger. That's the 1940s, the 1930s, I think. I'm not sure. No. 1920s? I don't know. Because in 79, they're hella old. So probably the 40s or the 30s. It's the husband's at war, so I assume that it was the 40s. But, um... Uh. So, Maxine, however moves on with the survivor, the surviving girl, you know, who's the main character of the film, and she was the old woman from Pearl and X. Um, you know, Maxine, the survivor, moves to Los Angeles, moves away from the porn industry, and decides to go and make movies. So, this new movie takes place in 1985, Los Angeles. You know, and a lot of crazy shit happened that time. So, this was a real big fucking twist for me when I saw that. And what kind of... I do not... This guy, honestly, is one of the most sadistic serial killers I've ever heard of. The Night Stalker. The Night Stalker, you know, Richard Ramirez. Uh, that guy's the killer in the movie. You know, uh, you know, they're they're making him the killer in that movie. You know, so, so Maxine, man, you know, the Night Stalker. That's fucking clever. That's that's real clever. Cause I was like, how are they gonna do? How are they gonna do that? How are they gonna do that one? Uh oh, I forgot. The shitty thing about coming in late is there's not really any parking spots. Hopefully. 
there's no Greg. I hope they don't chew me out for being late. I'm just gonna be like, I, I, had, I had to get my teeth done. I hope Ron was here, you know, like that would, that would be annoying that. Then I gotta get my shirt and my. I'm gonna be kind of pissed if, you know. I'll let them know. Destiny doesn't look like she's here either. So. here though you know yeah Maxine man that's gonna be interesting but anyways thanks for watching and to a good Thursday bye for now